डॉक्टर ओ पी बंसल प्रेजिडेंट आई आर आई ए आई एम बेस्ड इन दिल्ली बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इन रेडियोलॉजी टू कीप इट्स हेल्प अपडेटेड विद द लेटेस्ट एडवांसिस इन रेडियोलॉजी बिकॉज रेडियोलॉजी इज मूविंग एट ए फास्ट फेज देर आर लोट ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स आर देयर सेकेंड इश्यू इज ऑफ रेगुलेटेड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ रेडियोलॉजी पर्टिकुलरली अल्ट्रासाउंड सो मेनी रिकोगनाइज सेंटर्स हैव कम सो मेनी पर्सन विदाउट एनी प्रॉपर क्वालिफिकेशन आर डूइंग अल्ट्रासाउंड इट इज़ ए बिगेस्ट चैलेंज फॉर दस वी हैव टू हैव ए रेगुलेटेड अल्ट्रासाउंड प्रैक्टिस एंड आई आर आई इज डूइंग लॉट ऑफ वर्क ऑन दिस विद इनिशिएटिव ऑफ आई आर आई ए दिल्ली हाईकोर्ट हैज डायरेक्टेड मनिस्ट्री टू फार्मुलेट ए कोर्स फॉर रेगुलेटेड ट्रेनिंग इन अल्ट्रासाउंड एंड इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हैविंग अनरजिस्टर्ड पर्सन अनकॉलीफाइड पर्सन डूइंग दी अल्ट्रासाउंड नाउ ओनली पर्सन विद स्ट्रक्चर ट्रेनिंग इन एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन रिकोगनाइज फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट ट्रेनिंग इन रेडियोलॉजी एंड गायनी हैव बीन अलाउड टू डू दी अल्ट्रासाउंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज सेकेंड चैलेंज इज हरेस एंड ड्यू हरेसमेंट ऑफ रेडियोलॉजिस इन पी सी पी इंडिटी एक्ट आवर रेडियोलॉजिस फ्रेंड्स आर फेसिंग लोट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स इन पी सी पी इंडिटी बिकॉज दे आर बींग अननेसेसरी हरेस्ट दैट्स ए बिगेस्ट चैलेंज फॉर एस इन पी सी पी इंडिटी एक्ट बिसाइड्स हरेसमेंट ऑन माइनर कलर्किकल एरस लाइक नॉट वेयरिंग अप्रेन नॉट हैविंग देयर आई डी द रेडियोलिस्ट आर बींग हरेस्ट देयर मशीन्स आर बींग सील्ड ऑन वेरी माइनर इश्यूज दैट्स ए बिगेस्ट थ्रेट फॉर एस एंड वी हैव बीन इंसिस्टिंग गवर्नमेंट टू इम्प्लीमेंट द पी सी पी एन डी टी एक्ट स्ट्रिक्टली एज रेडियोलिस्ट आर अगेंस्ट फीमेल फेटिसाइड बट अंडर द कवर ऑफ अफेक्टिव इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ पी सी पी एन डी टी एक्ट the innocent radiologists should not be harassed and they should not be punished for minor errors there should be a, a principle of graded punishment and uh, red, iri has insisted for graded punishment and that thing is coming in a big way third biggest issue is of cut and uh, commission practice because of uh, entry of corporate sector in radiology because uh, radiology equipment are very costly and most of the corporate people have come and this cut and cut practice has started which is very bad for the community it is very bad for the radiologist this practice should sp sport second important component is now the radiology practice is uh, uh, very costly because of uh, costly equipments but iria stand is we have a responsibility to our society also in the name of uh, the only persons who are capable to having the facilities economically should not have the sole right to get the investigation we have a responsibility to our society also and the first we should follow the noblest principle those who have they should help the persons who are in need that that, that, that is our requirement then because of latest advances now so many new modalities are coming up there is urgent need of continuous medical education for radiologist and iri is working very hard on this account we have appointed A national coordinator for resident education to impart good quality training to resident doctors we have started resident education program also two programs we are holding for national cmes we are holding and we have instructed our state branches also to collaborate with different educational institutions to hold such programs iri has collaborated with international societies also and our members are going to different countries on fellowship I iri has 36 fellowships for our young radiologists six for rsna six for ecr six for chinese society of radiology six for uh, uh, this uh, sark society and uh, people are uh, applying in large numbers and they are getting benefited uh, for this initiative of iri but i still feel there is a long way to go as far as these aspects are concerned radiation safety is also a big issue now in most of our conferences we have made it a point that radiation safety should be there should be at least one session on radiation safety because it is because of overviews of investigations i can say patients are being uh, um, exposed to unnecessary radiations and this is not a healthy sign um, my message to our colleague radiologists is we should use the investigations to the optimum level and unnecessary investigations should not be advised and whenever doing investigation we should have adequate safety precautions we are responsible for safety of uh, our members our staff uh, and uh, patients also and we should follow the principle of uh, alara uh, the radiation should be as low as possible that principle we should follow
IRI has a dedicated wing for this. We have academic wing, Indian College of Radiology and Imaging, and we have appointed subspecialty heads in every specialty, and we have made guidelines and protocols for doing investigations. And uh, very soon these guidelines will be in public domain. We have made guidelines for every system, and we have a specialty head for everything like, like we have a specialist head for breast imaging, for abdominal imaging, GIT imaging, musculoskeletal imaging, whatever is the major system of radiology, now we have a specialty head and they are responsible for making protocols and guidelines for uh, regulated uh, radiology practice. It's a very good vision, but you see there is a great dearth of radiologists in the country. That's why so many unqualified persons are doing ultrasound. So what we need is a uh, uh, the screening center is a good idea, but we have to provide infrastructure, we have to have adequate manpower, and we have to increase the seats in uh, post graduation to achieve this level. Because if you have a screening center at district uh, uh, headquarters, it is our responsibility to main these centers through qualified persons. Otherwise, the aim of the screening center will not be um, used, and we should have a if till to fill up the gap, if we don't have the adequate manpower, we should have a concept of teleradiology and telemedicine. And this, this screening center should be uh, attached with some bigger centers so that the, whatever uh, facility is required, we can take the help of teleradiology for that. Because they have to have a guideline for starting screening centers, because we have to have guidelines. They have to be adequate um, equipment, because uh, the government has just told me they want to tell screening centers, but IRI will be too happy to give its input and uh, it's ready to suggest guidelines to the government how these screening centers should be started and what infrastructures they should have and what should be done in screening centers. First and foremost is whatever good work uh, or my processes I have done, I will carry it forward. My vision will be to make radiology services to the common man at a affordable um, prices. We will carry forward the vision of PM Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao. We will ensure that uh, PC PNDT Act is uh, enforced, female feticide stops, at, but at the same time, innocent radiologists are not harassed. Number, then my vision will be, we should have a regulated uh, radiology practice, particularly ultrasound. And we have to ensure and we have to tell the government that only qualified persons should be allowed to do the practice because ultimately it is the common man which is suffering because of unqualified persons. And we feel at IRI level that every person has an equal right for uh, radiology service, uh, whether it is affordable or whether he cannot afford. It is our duty to take radiological service to the masses and provide services to anyone who um, deserves it. Then uh, my emphasis will be on lot of academics, the CME is continuing medical education program and partnership with international societies to exchange the fellowship programs so that our radiologists are updated with the knowledge. Then uh, my priority will be we will approach government like once you start a new industry, we people have a lot of expectations from radiologists. Likewise, government should also give incentive to the radiology community to start a um, uh, radiology practice, soft loan should be given to them and the government should give them the um, premises at an affordable price because at one hand we expect radiologists to serve the poor community. We are ready for that but at the same time it is duty of the government also to provide us some incentives uh, to have this goal. Then uh, my priority will be the innocent radiologists should not be harassed but the members who are uh, Engaging in female feticide should not be spared, but innocent radiologists should not be punished under the cover of uh, uh, PCPNDT Act. In uh, radiology, we have a zero tolerance as far as female feticide is concerned. Whenever we have come across any member who is involving in female feticide, we have immediately terminated his memberships. And uh, because of our sustained efforts, it's very heartening to say that out of 100% uh, um, cases uh, caught for PCP entity violation, 85% are non-radiologists. This is because of sensitization of our community.